in our Hidden Pictures series on this trip, we're on our way to uh, Cravendale district to visit a place called Skyholm, which is nestled in the Yorkshire Dales National Park. And uh, in our Hidden Pictures series, I'm hoping to get some uh, more interesting thoughts for you and uh, to show you how I go about getting some unusual images of nature and landscapes. Well, it's a fairly remote um, part of the Dales here as we go towards Skyholm in our Hidden Pictures journey today. And it's a bright November, early November day, stunning, uh, stunning light, and we should get some good results. Well, we're now parked and uh, in situ here in Skyholm Lane. And uh, you can see as I pan round, towards the sun a little bit you can see some of the Dale sheep and up there towards the village of Skyerholm let's just move around here quickly and ahead of us in the lane is a uh, Parsifal Hall which is worth a visit and we're going to make our way down now to the entrance point near Beck um, near the Beck at the bottom here which is called Furbeck which is a tributary from the River Wolf um, we're in the we're in Wharfdale here um, and on the edge of Cravendale. Well as we walk along here, the beginning of our short journey this morning, you can see over here the stream, which is Furbeck running along. We're going to be taking some pictures using this stream and some of the other shots it will probably contain some buildings as well as we move forward. Well we're just making our way up the stream side here with the trees on our right up to the main footpath. I'm using today an 18 to 55 millimeter zoom lens for my Canon D50 and I set the set the camera to manual because I want to try and use selective focus for some of my shots and uh, that enables me to do that. It's a beautiful scene here. It's 10.30 in the morning, a beautiful blue sky and uh, a really lovely situation. We have some fairly good contrasting light here um, and out in the full sun it's pretty bright uh, autumnal sunlight so I am using an ultraviolet filter uh, today for this great sunshine. I'm making my way to the riverside now down here should I say the, the backside to be technically correct and I want to try and see see what it's like in the way of angles so that I can incorporate both the beck and this building here which has quite a lot of interest with the hills up behind it. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, search out a couple of shots near to this point. Well, just looking around here at the river and uh, well, the stream and the, the uh, mixture of trees and colours that we've got up the hill there. Beautiful contrasting light and this hawthorn tree uh, right in front of me which has got berries but no leaves. Looks pretty stunning with the water below so I'm going to take a couple of shots here. as in my other walks for hidden pictures and the fact that we're in Yorkshire we see some more stone walling here, dry stone walling and uh, this isn't as old as some that I've seen and nearby in Malham 
a few miles away, the walls are as old as Saxon times and still remain. Just looking over here at the trees up above here and the uh, ferns, which are of course now uh, a rust colour in their autumnal colour and finish for the year, give us quite a few different uh, textures and colours through our conversation. So I'll try and search out some hidden pictures here. Well, as we reach the ridge of this path up here, you can sweep around, you can see um, Skyholm proper in the distance there in the valley and uh, the ancient part of it at least. And there up on the hill are the trees that uh, surround Parsifal Hall. As we walk along, once again, we get a beautiful array of great colors here and quite uh, inspiring. Um, unlike those days where we have a little bit of cloud, every colour is brightened here. Just making my way down now um, to where these tiny rivulets meet in the uh, valley here. And with such brilliant light, it's great to try and take advantage of some of the shadows that are formed. And you may have seen in her earlier Hidden Pictures walks, how I've shown they can make a great composition because they form their own light textures on the material on the ground. And we'll have a look at all that uh, if we can find some around here as well now. Just looking here at these white rocks in the foreground, we've got the stream, we've got the white rocks there. We move around and up into that uh, shadowed valley that goes to the pinnacle up there. Uh, my family and I once saw a very large black cat and uh, I'm talking cougar sized cat and uh, we never heard any more about it in the news, but we're sure we saw it. There's a great shot here of the tree, these nearby grasses and stones, um, the tree in the distance. I'm going to go for one of those. Well, always looking out for foreground interest. We're not short of that here, but there is a fallen tree with a nice rock structure behind it. And in this contrasting light, we may find something that's uh, unusual. But interesting textures and lighting here. I'm gonna take a couple of uh, shots. Well, I'm in an enviable spot here, so peaceful. You can just hear crows in the, up there on the hill. I'm looking over to this uh, mid-morning light, pretty much into the sun, but uh, as I mentioned on earlier Hidden Pictures walks, there's nothing to stop you taking shots against the sun if you can hide the actual flare of the sun. And uh, a good example is the shot I'm gonna show you in a minute which is going to hide itself behind this tree and uh, give us some uh, stunning pictures. Just a bit of technical information. Most of my shots here this morning um, been at 500th of a second at f9 
because it's so bright and you lose the blue sky and you lose the, the fringe of uh, the tops of the hills and uh, it's best to keep on a high speed. Well as I walk on my way back now to the car I hope you've uh, found this interesting. It's worth searching out some of these little gems that uh, are not on the common path um, and you'll find some beautiful things to photograph if you like nature and landscape. Um, the other thing is around here we're quite close to Apple Treewick uh, which is another lovely village in the Dales and you can have a nice pint of English ale after.